all right what you need to do is first visit oracle.com slash cloud to launch instance in OCI visit oracle.com slash cloud sign in to oracle cloud with your user and ID and password your account name you need to enter in my case it is skillpedia then next there are two options to sign in here one is single sign on that is SSO using Oracle Identity Cloud Service and second is a direct sign in that is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure direct sign in in my case I'm using single sign on both methods have a different options available uh, almost all options are common except few of them that I will show you uh, using this method so I'm using single sign on method continue use your user ID and password so as I said I also work with 80% zoom level 80% zoom level gives me perfect visibility of all the options so to launch an instance directly you do not need the networking VCN right now in earlier uh, you know six months back maybe eight months back uh, first requirement was you need to create VCN but now fortunately we don't have to create VCN first however I'm going to demonstrate how to create VCN first and how to use that existing VCN though it is not required now earlier it was mandatory so I'm creating VCN first VCN is virtual cloud network you have to select the compartment which is root create VCN start VCN wizard we are going to use the wizard option because if I use wizard that will give me all these features in single click that is VCN public subnet private subnet internet gateway net gateway service gateway all these things are uh, directly created along with the VCN that help me connecting uh, different scenarios you can look at this figure that help me under understanding what all it will create for example if you have internet gateway that will allow your instance to be connected to the internet if you have net gateway is it one way you can see the arrow mark net gateway allow one way connectivity to the internet which essentially means you can download the packages you can upgrade your systems update your system but internet cannot reach you you cannot uh, outside world cannot reach your machine that is net if you see internet gateway IG that will allow two-way connectivity means outside world can reach your machine and your machine can reach the outside world both way connectivity is there in internet gateway service gateway allows the connectivity to other resources of OCI that is all these things will be created with this wizard so select that VCN name for example I'm selecting TSP VCN 1 this is cider block default VCN cider block and I'm keeping defaults I don't want to waste my time in changing them and then later on figuring out what I have done what I should have done what I should not have done security list I'm not changing anything I'm simply creating the VCN and it is so fast see it is created so first you need to create VCN once the VCN is created you can launch the instance let's go to the virtual cloud network what we have created this is the existing VCN we created with the name TSP initial VCN 1 interesting point is here is the security list what is the security list all these things you will see in the demonstration in the lab assignment as well security list allows you to configure rules to connect to the outside world like this ingress rule I am adding ingress rule to connect from the outside world which is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 that is the outside world 4 times 0 4 times 0 slash 0 and ICMP that means I want to allow ping from the outside world to this uh, uh, machine which is in this subnet similarly I want to add some more rules here uh, 0.0 dot zero dot zero four times zero slash zero that is internet and TCP protocol I want to open some port let's say port number 80 
for example or double two or two one or two zero whatever port I want to open uh, let's say five one um, five what should I type okay double four three some of the ports I just want to open so these are the ports which I want to open uh, to the machine which will be created in the subnet once this is the um, port rules I have added from the outside world I want to connect on these ports the connectivity let's launch the instance now compute instances and here we specify the instance details so instance I'm going to create let's say TSP INST1 this is going to be the my instance name where it will be placed virtual multiple availability domains will be visible if you are in Ashburn region or Phoenix region some of the newly created regions will have only one availability domain that is physical one data center means one availability domain physically three data centers means three availability domains so I'm selecting availability domain one in order to connect to this instance from my local machine I need to create a key pair on this machine and that key pair will allow me <coughs> to connect to this machine how do we create a key pair SSH hyphen key gen will create the key pair just default entries are good use cat command to see the content of SSH underscore oh sorry ID underscore what is that file name or dot SSH slash ID underscore RSA dot PUB this is the public key which I need to paste while launching the instance so I'm copying this public key and in the instance launch I'm going to paste it this is the shape image and shape you can change different shape what is the shape shape gives you different features of uh, Oracle infrastructure the interface is again changed so uh, Oracle Linux platform images Oracle images partner images custom images community images all these options are available so I'm selecting platform images Oracle Linux what I want latest version so I'm selecting this by default this is only selected so I can select this what is shape shape give me a different uh, number of uh, parameters you can say it is a template number of CPU RAM network bandwidth total VNX available so you want to create a virtual machine or bare metal I want to create a virtual machine Intel based these are different shapes like if I use 2.2 .2 shape that will have two CPU 30 GB RAM and two uh, GBPS network bandwidth and two virtual uh, private interface network interface card I can attach if I use Ampere and this will be always free instance always free means you don't have to pay for this instance and if you go for specialty and previous generation you can select so the different shapes have different CPUs different memory different bandwidth so you can think of them as a template so I'm selecting this 2.2 uh, shape right now that is good shape for me and networking see this is the new feature available this is not there in the uh, uh, lab assignment if you look at that because uh, earlier this feature was not available you had to select the existing one because now it is option that you can create a new uh, VCN right now right here but I'm selecting existing because I created it before I launched this instance then select existing subnet public subnet assign public IP of course I want public IP add SSH key I have the public key with me I'm going to paste that public key here that public key will allow me to connect from my local machine to this instance and uh, I think that's uh, all what we require quite simple straightforward so instance will be launched with this name in the public subnet of the VCN which I created earlier it will take few minutes to provision the instance to launch the instance once my instance is launched 
I will be able to access it from my local machine. Public IP address will be visible here. You see public IP. I can simply copy this and I can uh, start waiting. I can uh, you know try ping command on this IP because I enabled ICMP for this instance. The moment my instance is ready, I should get reply uh, from this public IP of my instance. That's how easy it is. And now my instance is ready. Yeah, oh, cool. Now, therefore, I can simply connect to this instance. By default, the username is OPC. So you have to type SSH OPC at the rate public IP address and you will be taken to that instance directly. So you are working on that instance now. To switch to root user, you have to the command sudo su hyphen. You are working as a root user on that machine now. Yum install httpd. I am just installing Apache web server so that you can access the web server from this instance. And this is so easy, so damn easy to launch instance in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The lab assignment which I shared with you uh, go into depth of uh, uh, this launch instance and create instance and installing packages on this machine. And uh, by the end of, uh, by the time you complete the lab assignment, you will be ready with the one instance. You will be ready to connect to that instance. System CTL enable hyphen hyphen now httpd cd slash where slash www slash html vi index dot html and I'm creating this h1 tag hello team welcome to OCI class and slash h1 tag close and the good thing is if I visit the public IP address of this machine I will be able to hit the website so let me save and quit this what I just need is I need to hit the public IP but I am sure there will be one issue uh, I will not be able to access the website anybody any guesses why I am not able to access the website because I have opened the port in the subnet but what about the machine itself I need to open the port in the machine also so for that the command is system oh sorry firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen port equal to 80 slash tcp and I need to reload the firewall so two level of uh, firewall opening is mandatory and if you have done that trust me you will be greeted by the welcome page of this machine and here you are hello team welcome to OCI class you can access this IP address from your machine as well you will be greeted by this same page so what we have successfully done is we have launched an instance in the OCI and we have connected to the OCI from local machine we have installed uh, some packages from that uh, you know on that machine we open some ports also and uh, we are able to access the uh, website on that public IP address of that instance and that's all for this demonstration. Thank you very much.